live on Lunch Break Live. Yes. Mark Thompson, my dear old friend. He knows me so long before I got sober 23 years ago, so he has some stories to tell. You're just as much fun now as you were then, Jane. <laughs> you probably think you've lost a step because you're not drinking, but that's not true. You are still fun. Sometimes people ask me if I'm okay to drive, and I consider it a compliment. <laughs> People today. think you're still drunk. Is that exactly, a point? I see. Wow. Exactly. Drunk on veganism, I guess. You are drunk on life, my darling. All right. Let me tell you, first of all, uh, I'm not a cook per se, as you'll find out, but I do have my go-to sandwich. So when you came to me and you said, Mark, do you have something for Jane Unchained? We would like to do a Lunch Break Live with you. And I've seen Lunch Break Live many times. And it's all these great things. And, you, you know, they're slicing and showing you that they're marinating. And then, then they do a reduction on the. And it's like, I don't do any of that. Okay? What you're going to get is a great sandwich. And it's an easy sandwich to make. And you slam it out. Grab it and go to where you need to go. And look as good as Mark Thompson. That's right. Having sir. it. Check right. this out. So, uh, it's a, and don't be turned off by this, those who are new to the game. Mm -hmm. It's a tofu sandwich. This is oh, sprouted okay. tofu. And you go, now, tofu. Some people go, I don't like tofu. I don't like, or I like it. But it, here's the deal with tofu. It's how it's prepared, what it's prepared in, right? So, mm -hmm. with this tofu, I... Add a lot of mayo. This is not and this real is mayo. It's just mayo. It's from the just mayo people. They also do just, I think, eggs now. And they yeah. do, they do a, lump, a number of different substitutes. So this to me is one of the best mayo substitutes, but there are a bunch of them, and most of them are pretty good. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. But I, these are, this is the one that we're using. And then uh, I have all of the other ingredients out here in a uh, very camera friendly way. <laughs> On the counter. Well, you're nothing if not camera friendly. Yeah, so these are all the different implements. Everything's oh, been wow. wiped down. Everything's and, ready. Yeah. You are washed, a real guy. Trained. You are a real guy. Washed my guy. hands multiple times. It's yes. like a surgery for me. Yes. I've just washed. <laughs> right. So okay. I'm ready. Trolls, take note. He's washed his hands numerous times. Yes, thank okay. you. So it doesn't really matter where you start, but, oh, I forgot one thing. Uh-oh. Which is important. And it's perfect that we're doing it at this moment. Uh -huh. This is a tofu press. That's a tofu torture machine. Mm -hmm. yes. So we're gonna put the okay. tofu in this. Yeah. It will be bolted down and slowly we drain off a lot of the water that's accumulated oh. in it. But we can do that while we're chopping the onion I and doing like this. So, I like it because people need to know how to use a tofu press. Yes, yeah. so um, <laughs> am I Mr. Rector, am I allowed to walk over to the sink? Yes, to yes, walk wherever you want, okay. to your right. house. Right. And Here thank you for inviting us in. No, it's perfect. You can see it's that uh, I kind of like coffee, by the way. I drank that entire pot this morning. So You're kidding. Jane has natural energy. This is my I energy. drink a lot of coffee, as a matter of fact. It's like the one thing I have left, to be honest with you. <laughs> so... When you're okay. sober, you don't do and you don't get high or anything. That's no, it. nothing, nothing. Yeah. I'm just just goofy exactly. on, you're on, high life. on life. That's goofy cool. on Good life. Well, yeah. this is um, this is just a process of draining the tofu, and you know, uh -huh. um, I. I love tofu and a lot of stuff, but I don't like it fried. You'll find tofu fried in a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. I don't like it fried. I like it soft, and you can ask for it soft in a in a like a Thai restaurant, let's yeah. say, or, or in, in all the different dishes that it shows up in. So. We'll pull out this cube. Again, it's sprouted tofu. Sarah says straight edge vegan. Yeah, that's what I am. Straight edge vegan. You are, baby. <laughs> uh, so we'll put oh, that in there. Look at that. And then this oh, one. Dude, I'm so impressed. We'll put right alongside it. Stand right. Okay. We're standing by. And you're probably saying, well, why don't you just use the tofu the way you, 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 you know what? I used to use the tofu without draining it. And here's what happens. It still tastes okay, but you do end up with a lot of water. Yeah. It's a watery yeah. kind of mix. Watery so, kind of mix. So, so here's what you do. You just put it in the tofu. These tofu presses are like, I don't know what they are, five bucks. Yeah, they're nine like 10 bucks, bucks or something, or something like, like that. that. That is, wow. And it's kind of fun, too. I mean, Oh, my God. It's this like, is, I sometimes will come home and just press for hours. I love it. It's <laughs> big fun. It's like Pilates for tofu. It's big fun. Right? It works these muscles right here. <laughs> now, let me, can I see the side angle? Because you really are pressing that tofu. You're not yeah, kidding I like around. Yeah, I like to really get you're a good press really, going. You're not kidding around on that. Look yeah. at that. Gee, be kind to that tofu. You're probably tofu, saying, hey, what, uh, what's the deal? <laughs> but can you see all the water draining off of it? Oh, yeah. And our mighty May, who is an amazing veterinarian, vegan vet, says, sprouted tofu, Mark. Yes. 
That's sprouted tofu. Yeah, it's sprouted tofu. We've got sprouted tofu. Wildwood sprouted tofu. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put this here. Our Mighty May is one of the great heroes of our animal rights movement, she by is. the way. So we I'm love her. Quite and she, flattered that she Actually, is. I think this morning was just in uh, City Hall advocating for uh, all uh, public venues to have vegan food. That's right now before uh, the city council, uh, one of the city councilmen, um, Paul Koretz, who is wonderful, is fighting for that. Yeah, Koretz is a friend to Oh, wonderful. Animal rights. Look at this. All right, so you can see all Whoa. that water. This is fascinating. Mark, you've brought us something we've never seen before here on Lunch Break Live, despite doing hundreds of these. Is that right? You've never seen this? I've never seen this tofu press. I've I'm seen others. Well... Breaking news here. This is, we could, we could launch a YouTube channel with just tofu draining. We probably get many. <laughs> tofu stuff. draining. Okay. Maybe we could move this over here so we could constantly refer to it. Oh, that's uh, cool. There we go. All right. All right. The, here um, we go. By the way, I'm not like camera ready. This isn't oh, like normally. Oh, you look great. But I just, I'm you just know. saying, this is kind of. Uh, Guys pretty, are lucky. They don't have to put gorilla. any makeup on. They look good and they age well. well so you're right. aging very let's, well. Let's, um, let's cut this. Okay. Uh, this is going to be an un. There you go. Ceremonious. Jeff Adams says, I have a tortilla press. I wonder if I could use it. This is cool though. I and probably think you could. Uh, Jeff Adams is an incredible um, videographer and editor, and we are putting together a documentary together on Vegan World 2026. Hi, Jeff, from North Carolina. Wow, Jeff, yeah. very impressive, sir. Yeah. I'm yes. just going to, for the yes. ease of, I'm okay. just going to get rid of this. this All right. And I like the cap, too, because it adds an air of mystery. You, you know what I'm saying? Do you like the what? The cap, your black cap. Oh, you like my cap? Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, kind of adds a little bit of a, you know, a little... Like kind of a dangerous look, like watch out. Yeah. Uh, I, this is where like if I were a real Jane Unchained <laughs> chef, I would you have are. my, I would have a way to do this. Like there's a way, a good way to do it, but I don't because I'm not. Well, so I just, I just like that. And are you eating these raw? So I put them in, this is just an option. You don't need yeah. to add them. Are to you be, on a date tonight, Mark? Because to be, you may have to cancel if I, you're going to eat all of I them. I love onions. I love them. Love them. And I love them raw. But I'll tell you something, and then I just dice them like this. But what I would say is um, uh, it's totally optional. You may be looking at this going, oh, my God, that's so gross. How can you put those no, onions, onions in? onions are great. So if you don't want the onions, you don't put them in. There's oftentimes I won't put in the onions, but I add them to this little process Frankly, because it's because it's just something to do, and we wanted something visual. So, yeah. <laughs> so normally okay. you just no, no. I, just I like, add them a lot, but oh, I'm just do. saying they're not a must part of uh -huh. this uh, this dish. So, uh, Sayo Jones says, "Oh my God, Mark T is cooking." Let me just say, this is Sayo is her name, oh, Sayo. and she is, I think, probably my biggest fan in the world. Aww. And I'm becoming her biggest fan, largely because she's my biggest fan. Uh, and I just need some reciprocal fandom, so I am well, I'm she's, flattered. Well, she's and fanning you big I'm time. Fa I'm, I, I adore her. She's great. Yeah. She's a big supporter of everything I do, so oh, thank wonderful. you, Sia. All right, so we've got our onions, and now it's a good time to check back in on our tofu, uh -huh. uh, which is draining. You can see a lot of the water's drained off. Let's, let's give it let's up. Let's see. What's happening? Oh, yeah, so there's a whole little, yes, the yeah. draining is occurring. It's about, and this, it doesn't have to drain long. We're going to dump this. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now, while we're doing this, I do want to, um, oh, Juan Diego says, amo las cebollas también, means I love onions as well. Yes, onions are great, and cebollas is how you say onions in Spanish. Ah. So, uh, while we're cooking, I was wondering, you know, we know each other a long time, and when we knew each other back in the day, when we were both in sort of just media friends, yeah. um, you, I didn't know how long you've been vegan or why you went vegan, and I've always been curious and never really had a chance to ask you, so can you tell me about that? Well, I can, Jane. I um, I had a kind of, I always, we're gonna toast our bread. I'm yes, putting I in like four it. slices, I don't know why, really, probably, because we can make four. Yeah, well, we've, got, the, we've got three people here, we can yeah. do four slices, okay. So, uh, uh, it's a good question. I, uh, truthfully, wanted always and looked at vegetarianism as something that I could do. Vegetarianism, we say the ism, like it's some, you know, like religious sect or something. But I'm, uh, being a vegetarian, I thought would be a great thing to, to aspire to. So for many years, I thought, oh, I want to be a vegetarian. 
just can't stop eating meat. I'm used to it. Uh, I know what they do to those animals is awful, but uh, I just right now, I mean, I kind of just did the quick yeah. and I just didn't pay attention. I was very active with getting dogs and cats adopted on television. I had a regular segment every week. We had great success. And I have to say that uh, the hypocrisy of trying to get the dogs and cats adopted and then supporting with my money and my appetite the horrible torture and uh, destruction and uh, uh, Oh, I, just, I mean, the, the, the terror that is the slaughterhouse environment, the raising of, of animal agriculture in any form. It's not just a slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse may be as horrible as it is. At least those animals are getting out of the awfulness of their lives. Anyway, that hypocrisy of caring so much about the dogs and cats and trying to get them homes and then somehow supporting this other thing, I... I couldn't live with it anymore. And my good friend was Sam Simon. And Sam, I think I went to his radio show. Uh, he had me on his radio show and I'm waiting in the, um, like the waiting area. You know how they'll play what's on the show yeah. at the time? So they're playing what's on the show at the time and they start talking about what's actually happening when you really know where your dairy comes from. The fact that they have to impregnate all of those cows on what they call a rape rack. They used to use these big shino that your audience knows this stuff, but then they, uh, as the pregnant mothers uh, become pregnant, now they have milk and so they start milking them relentlessly and they take the calves when they're born within sometimes hours and usually within about a day of the mother giving birth and that, that calf is tossed into a wheelbarrow and it, it becomes veal and that mother cries out like any mother would that their offspring has been taken away. It was too much. I just wanted no part of it anymore. And it was sort of a, uh, it was a crisis moment because I felt ashamed that I'd, that I'd been part of it and I hadn't been curious enough all those years. And I'm, uh, I really lived in that shame. Imagine that for like a year and a half. Like I couldn't even talk about it, why it took me so long. But now I'm uh, at a place where I try to be as evangelical as I can be politely. When people mm -hmm. ask me about it, I share it but I don't go around shouting at people that they should mm -hmm. be vegan. I don't think we win people over to mm -hmm. uh, get off animal products doing that. So I just respond to uh, situations when I'm asked. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people ask about dairy. That's kind of why I went through those details on dairy mm -hmm. uh, because like, what's wrong with dairy? And I just had somebody on Twitter ask me, what's wrong with eggs? I thought eggs are just protein was the way his yeah. Twitter. Um, so you need to address some of these things along the way when, when asked, but the answer to your question is, uh, it was really a moment in time. Something I'd aspired to, but now I realize vegetarian, that's easy vegetarian. Oh my God. Really vegan is where I wanted to be to get, get off that dairy particularly. And so, how long then? Have oh, six and a half years now. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's And great. how do our mutual friends respond to all that? Because we know a lot of people from the media back uh, in the day. They're, uh, you know, I'm a part of like this guys group that goes to dinner all the time. And to be honest, they're all steak eaters. They're just, it's horrifying. They, they order veal, they order foie gras. I mean, it's terrible. Mm. Uh, oftentimes I won't make those dinners. Usually it's because there's a legitimate conflict, but sometimes <laughs> it can be because I don't want to support some of these venues are so yeah. brutal because yeah. they do, they do offer yeah. all these things I just mentioned that I go, yeah, you know what? Uh, no, yeah. but I, uh, but they're look, they're older guys, and here's my feeling, and I mean with this with, and with all respect to older guys, I don't really care about them. I'm not gonna save them. They're not coming over. They're not gonna, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're old dogs and they're not gonna learn a new trick, yeah. you know? So Ooh, I, I love that. So, I'm, so you go ahead, choke on your steak, on all of that. I'm concentrating on the Jane Unchained audience, newer blood, the children, the generation of tomorrow, people who are younger, people who have a compassion and heart. Anybody who really has compassion and heart and can see what's going on and knows the specifics of animal agriculture, you can't be okay with it. And then it's just a question of how and when you're going to come along and maybe alter your lifestyle. Hey man, it's a process. We're all on, you know, different journeys, whatever yeah. your journey is. Yeah. And so, you know, whatever your process is and however long it takes is fine. Maybe it's just meatless Mondays. Maybe it's, you know, two days a week. Maybe it's Monday through Friday I'm vegan and then on the weekends I'm not. I don't know. For me, I'm a militant vegan because Woo! I don't want any part of it. But 
You may be at a different point. You might just be sort of vegan curious. Great. However you do it, uh, I thank you for even listening and being curious enough and supportive enough to be involved. So. I love it. What a, what a great talk. Thank you, Mark. Uh, all right. Let's get back to the action. Yes. <laughs> um, so I usually do this first, just in a timing, from a timing standpoint. And that is I'll take our... Our vegan mayo. Our mighty may says, thank you for sharing the truth, Mark Thompson. Today's children are the future. Indeed, our mighty. Indeed. So that's because I love mayo, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll put the mayo in there. And by the way, you can put more in if you want, but that's what I'm putting mm -hmm. in for now. Yeah, I'll that. add the onions. Well mm -hmm. And again, well season to taste. <laughs> uh, and you can mix it. I'm kind of just mixing this because we're on uh, the tube. Yeah. Uh, and oh, then here, here the pièce de résistance, my friends. Oh, yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Undo the tofu. <laughs> tofu, the tofu press yes, man. Tofu is special. All okay, right. Okay, here we All go. Right. Now remember, there are two of these things. Yeah. Let's just drop them. Both. Oh, we're gonna just drop them right Ooh, in. They're Ooh, perfect. Wow. All right. Now, uh, there's probably a way to do these. I'll tell you how I used to do it when I first got. I used to do it like that, <laughs> but now I just I just chop away with this. Now we're not done with the ingredients, so I think you're, you're, I know those of you who think, oh well, I've got it. It's just tofu yeah. with some mayo. No, 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 no. Uh huh. There's one ingredient that we're gonna add when we're done. Uh huh. That I think will kind of just gives it a little personality. Uh huh. Meantime, we're going to toast. Oh, look at that toaster. Wow. Yes, this toaster. That impressive toaster. I here. have to tell you, it is an impressive toaster, but it's not the most impressive thing in the kitchen. Uh-huh. The most impressive things in the is kitchen. Is you. Well, I mean, I, I'm leaving the people <laughs> out. The inanimate objects that are most important, uh, impressive, I think, and important also. Uh, this remarkable espresso oh, machine. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm having, a, this I'm is having an espresso machine yeah. envy. And you, this, uh, I'd be happy to, it's my favorite thing to make oh espresso. My God. So happily Woo! making, this is the grinder, you grind it fresh, oh. then the espresso. You're but, in my language. but my newest girlfriend <laughs> is not the espresso machine. My and we newest, know you've had many. My newest girlfriend yes. is behind you, Jane. Uh oh, hold on, we're gonna here. check this out. It's oh. the KitchenAid refrigerator, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> with French doors to welcome you. Woo! Oh, that's gorgeous. Separate compartments for vegetables and fruits. <laughs> and, Jane, this is off limits to you because you're sober, but there yes. it is. There it is. All right. Wow, you've got it happening. Yeah. But man. that's not all, Jane. It has a separate <laughs> freezer Whoa. drawer with and compartments up top. Look at all the great vegan food you have. That's oh coconut my God. milk. Indeed, it's all vegan Whoa. in this refrigerator, Jane. You'll find no animal products. <laughs> it's a brand new KitchenAid. That's my new girl. I love that, man. And you know, what I, one of the things I love about you, and of course everybody says this, is your voice. You Thank have you, the most fabulous voice. I want to do a documentary just so I could ask you to narrate it. I would so be, amazing. I'd be happy to. I would say donate my services, Jane, but actually I need the money. <laughs> no, no, I'm happy to donate my services. All right, um, I might take you up on that. All right, so I think... Oh, wait, hold on. Poor Paul Yude says, what do you mean by old guys? I went vegan at 64. There you go. So there you go. Yeah, I guess I was just saying, first of all, that's terrific. I guess I was just saying those guys, those, guys, those yeah. old guys, I'm yeah. not going to worry about, like, yeah. I'm not going to make my life's work trying to convert yes. six... Older guys have been eating that way, and they have no urge to change. Yes. So no, that's yes. all I'm saying. If you, yeah, I agree with you 100%. I've recently, somebody told me it's harder to convince people you know because they take it personally. Right. So, and people do get dug in, and there's a lot of research on that. Oh, yeah. Uh, people get dug in on their position because they yeah. feel attacked. Yes. So As they, a matter of fact, Friday, we're doing uh, uh, an interview with this woman called Animal Hostage Negotiator, and she's using hostage negotiation um, methods to negotiate with people about their diet. Wow, that yeah. sounds like it's going to be cool. I yeah. can't wait to see that. <laughs> oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah, because right, you know, in, in a sense, you are negotiating with somebody who is holding animals hostage, and if you use those techniques, you might be able to get somewhere. I never thought of it that way, yeah. but that's true. So I'm adding a bunch of mayo just because I think. How do it, you keep your figure? It, it tastes better with a lot of mayo. Yeah. And. Um, 
And here we go. All right. Now, the one thing I add. Uh huh. Uh, I add. Let's leave those there for now. And Erica Nielsen, a physician's Eric, for responsible she's medicine, terrific is too. watching. They do. PCRM is amazing. Yes, we love them. They are so amazing. Uh, so let's, let's get here. some of the sweet Ooh. relish. Ooh, sweet relish. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, the best oh, sweet yeah. relish, girl. Check that shit out. Oops, wow. girl, I don't think I can say that. <laughs> Check that stuff out. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you're mm. putting a several dollops of Mark, sweet. I'd like, yeah, but once you see, once we mix it up, it really gets lost. Hey, I hope you're taking notes so we can put this recipe. You, no, you're going you're gonna to write up this recipe. Got the I recipe. think it's okay. pretty straightforward. Yeah. yeah. All um, right. All right, this looks so good. Now, I noticed you didn't put salt or anything. Are you... Uh... No, that's uh, a great point, Jane Bellas Mitchell. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you have a spice rack like no other. Will I... Beg your pardon? Look at I have... <laughs> I have... There are lots of spices Look at this. here. this. Lots of spices. I don't know. You, you know, this is where your audience oh could probably... Oh, my God. Wait a second. I've never seen anything like this. Your audience could probably improve... This oh recipe, God. and if they can, I wish they would send me oh improvements. Oh my God, look how fantastic this is. You are, for a guy who says he doesn't cook much, you've certainly got it all going on. You have a lot of You must have your dates on. come over and uh, do a little cooking for you. I have, uh, <laughs> well, I have a lovely girlfriend who does oh. cook occasionally when, she's, right. when she's got time. Okay. But, um, uh, but. This is one of those things where you season it to taste. I yeah. do think a little salt, yeah. a little bit, a little, a little pepper bit. too. Yeah. We'll put some pepper on. All right. All right. You can get a kind of <laughs> official look. Um, I think Sayo, Sayo is yeah. definitely your biggest fan because he or she, is it is she or he? She is. She total says, she. Yaman, that is sexy. She is, uh, <laughs> Sayo's, Sayo's the best. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how, how she has time to follow the project <laughs> at all, but she um, All right, so that's stirred up and ready to go. Yeah. We take out our... Oh, right? there you go. This feels weird. I, I'm going to maybe do this over here. <laughs> sure. I'll do one not? over here. Why yeah. not? All right, let's see the, now we, the art come now together. Now it's simple. It's just oh, simple. Oh, look at that. We, we just have to... Throw this on. This is wow. so weird. This is really a throw together sandwich, but I'll it tell you. Hard. It looks just like egg salad sandwich. Right. And you know what? I used to do it with uh, turmeric. Yeah. yeah. Turmeric. And that really know. is, that'll give it the look yeah. of, but, and, but honestly, turmeric's got a very yeah, strong taste and yeah. I just didn't like the yeah. taste was yeah, not really great. Yeah, So, yes. um, so. There now you go. This, and then you dun, take, dun, uh, let me dun, get a dun, different, dun, I think it's serrated. Get a picture of this, of this uh, yeah, sandwich. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, sideways. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, here and we then, go. And with then the, I think we just, look we at just this. maybe okay. a little bit of a. Well, that's not going to work. We'll put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right here, and then we'll take a nice picture of it. Look how pretty. Oh, and that's gorgeous. Oh, yes. And if you right. know what you're saying, you're saying, well, Mark, and I need the. Uh, I have to tell you that. Pickles. Of some um, kind. You know, we, we have very, very gourmet chefs on, but I'm a. I like sandwiches. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, for lunch. Left to my own remember, devices, yeah. I would eat sandwiches almost every day. And when you're on the go, it's, yeah. it's kind of cool. It's to a, oh, my drone shot was going a little bit crazy there. Look at that, how pretty. And there I'll it is. Let, I'll let Paige take some nice photos yes, of that. Paige. Paige Parsons Roach, uh, our uh, <laughs> booker at Jane Unchained, who does an incredible job. You know, uh, my favorite part about this, of course, I get to do the lunch break lives. I get to eat. And you get to meet fabulous, fabulous people. I do get to meet oh. fabulous, yes. fabulous people like and, Mr. Uh, Mark And maybe we'll get a there. shot of Mark with the sandwich. Fabulous. Yes, uh, um, I'm just preparing yeah. the other one, Jane. I'll be okay, right there. Okay, there we go. Um, um, this is Mark. I have a question for Mark. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And is there some connection between you and American Idol? What was that? I am the voice of American Idol. Woo! So tell, tell me how that goes. So since the very first season... And the very beginnings of American Idol, the first four seasons, there was a lot of voiceover at the beginning of the show. It was like, you know, um, last night they sang their hearts out. <laughs> Tonight, one goes home. <laughs> Who stays? Who goes? Oh, that's Find good. out next, live on American Idol. There would be, that would wow. be wonderful. But since Ryan had, wants to do everything, <laughs> and I give him a hard time about this, 
I say, dude, you took all my stuff. So now he does it. He goes, last night they sang their hearts out. Tonight one goes home. So less and less for the announcer to do. But I still, um, I still love that gig. And they, they build stars. I mean, that, that, oh, yeah. that show, they find stars. They you know? do. They really um, do. Um, so, well, you have one of the best voices um, on, on any broadcast medium. Oh, Your you, voice Mom. is uh, always been so unique and so... If you, were you, did you always have this fabulous deep voice? Or did I guess it I, I mean, I guess it sort of kicked in, you know. Kicked like, in yeah, puberty? Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. But thank you, for, thank you for that. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, there are a lot of people in this town with some great voices and great skills, so it's a, an honor just to be in that, that kind of world with them. But yeah. here's our second. Um, uh, may I ask another question? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So I also understand that you're involved with the Young Turks. Yes, Tell the Young me Turks. About that. I think a okay. lot of the millennials who um, watch our show would be really oh, wow. excited by that. Yeah, TYT is probably um, it, one of my favorite places on earth to be. It's like playing in a great band. Everybody, I respect their opinions. I respect uh, the research and the knowledge that goes into a lot of those opinions. And so I enjoy being on their various shows. I do the main show. I do uh, Rebel Headquarters. I do Old School. I'm doing Old School later today. Um, Rebel Headquarters is... a uh, kind of like not unlike this in the sense that you meet a lot of different people everything from candidates for uh, public office to writers and filmmakers documentary filmmakers mm -hmm. it's um I love the Young Turks so Young Turks TYT as it's known mm -hmm. is uh, is available on YouTube they have nine billion with a B Woo! downloads so wow. that's it's a really great that's place amazing. to be but I, I do that I do KFI radio which is another great place to be so and I have a podcast called The Edge with Mark Thompson. You need to put the with Mark Thompson part in because there are a lot of shows the called Edge The Edge. With Mark Thompson. Yeah. So okay. and I Jane be taking notes on all this. Notes. Jane Vellas Mitchell is on the next episode okay. of The Edge with Mark Thompson. Cool. So cool. Uh, we usually do a little politics at the beginning of that show and then it's usually a guest. Like Jane will be our main guest. Oh fabulous. Uh, so uh, I think that's a That's enough. Pretty good overview. That's a of what lot. Happens. Yeah. That's a lot. So, and you know, actually, the fun part is to be able to have a lot of different things that you're doing, and not be stuck doing the same thing. I mean, it, it's like after you know, thirty years or forty years, like let's mix it up a little bit. I have to say, I'm speaking that for myself. I did. You know, I love doing the weather on TV, which is what I was doing for many years. I did it for 23 years on Fox 11 in LA, and um, and for time before that. But I guess I'd say that I loved. All the colleagues, I had everybody in television news I love. I mean, I, re and I know people say, oh, I love them, I love them. But I mean, I really did. I, I really embraced that environment. It was really quite special. But once you've done it for, you know, the weather particularly, you're sort of limited in what you can do. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like a general assignment reporter who might have a, some, some cool assignments and stories from time to time. Or uh, I, I was glad to step away from it. Believe me, I miss the money. But uh, I don't miss the... The daily was a little bit, um, I was probably over it, you know, for yeah. a while before I actually I stopped think, doing it. I think, you know what, they say that we have to sort of transform and reinvent, and I've had to reinvent myself numerous times. In fact, back when I was dating guys, one guy said dating you is like dating a different person every week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I said was the, always reinventing. I said this about... Jane, and it's coming up on that podcast, The Edge with Mark Thompson, again, to mention it again, but only because Jane is coming up, not this week, but next week. Uh, and I'm just going to say it here. I just feel so strongly that you are, Jane, one of the great advocates that this animal rights movement has. You're articulate, you're knowledgeable, you're passionate, and you just communicate in so many different effective ways. I'm Aww. so proud of you. Well, you're so. so sweet, and I'm so proud of you. It's great to have a compadre in this movement who has a media, you know, we, we, who we knew in media because so many of the people that I've known in media, well, I like them. I have the same experience as you do. I don't want to go there and sit and have a big, watch them eat a big steak or eat veal. I can't handle it. Yeah. So um, I, I will send those compliments straight back to you. Well, You're thank doing you. it too. I have one last thing to say to those of you who may not be a vegan or you're kind of trying to adopt different uh, attitudes in your diet for humanitarian reasons, for ethical reasons. If you're an ethical person, in other words, you're trying to make changes because of your ethics, you know, because of humanitarian concerns you have for animals, I'd rather you have a steak than any dairy. So 
Think about that, research it, and you'll see why. Mm. I'd rather you not have anything that yeah. has comes from an animal, but dairy is a real troubling process. And it's, um, awful. it's uh, and, and so I, I just want to communicate that yeah. those of you who are looking to make adaptation, it's also the toughest thing. People can't get off cheese, can't get off ice cream, whatever. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. So maybe cut back or just keep it in mind. I think yeah. it's um, yeah. Well, actually, just watch the YouTube video by Aaron Janis, who is another one of my heroes. Dairy is bleeping scary. It's very short. It's also very humorous. She's got a great sense of humor, but it tells a story. And if you can eat dairy after that, make an appointment with a shrink. Okay. Let's so, are you ready to taste? I'm ready to taste this. Cool. Hold, on, Hold it gently because I'll Do you want me to pour it? Yeah. 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 It's okay. sensitive today. Our, our sure. stabilizers are very quarter? emotional. Well, don't you oh, you're quarter. Today. Yes, I think we should quarter it. All right, quarter it up. Okay. This All right, I'm very great. excited to be here with very my excited. dear friend, my old friend, I love it. Mark Thompson. Let me take this. And uh, it's just so great, I honestly say personally, to have somebody in the media who shares this passion because I had felt very all alone a lot of times. I had actually got into arguments at work. I would remove the glue traps at, in the newsroom oh, wow. and people would say, what are you, out of your mind? And I'd say, you know, you want to have a little mouse get stuck with glue and then writhe to death over 48 hours or 36 hours. Are you mad? Are you crazy? And so I felt very much like, um, you know, an outlier. And, um, and th just the idea that you're vegan, I can't tell you how much it warms my heart and makes me feel happy. Happy! <laughs> so yeah, it's true. I'm um, not, I'm telling you, yeah. absolutely. Let me get you a napkin. Jimmy. All right, here we go. Look at this baby. Oh, Look at that. Oh, for those Look who are just that. joining us, it's a manly, um, Tofu yes. sandwich and on the go. I will tell you about my uh, my my actual physical back and forth one day with a co-anchor over over lobsters that were sent via mail. That was another story that got me. Uh, the lobster uh, thing is so yeah. oh, tough, so man. awful. All right, here we go. I'm trying this. Are we should we give it a name? Ooh, a special mm. name. Mm. Okay, Mark. Well, I, Mark. I'm not sure mm. what we should call it, but I hope it includes mm. my name. Mm. <laughs> Of course. Of How about course. Thompson Tofu? The Thompson Tofu Ooh. Triumph. I love it. Yay! Thompson love it. Tofu Triumph. How does it taste? Is it all right? It's so good. Nick Kuglin is watching. Is that mm. a, a friend of yours there? Uh -huh. Not quite sure. Hello, mm. Nick. Mm. And we've got Jeff Adams chiming mm. in again. This is so great. James mm. loving it. Mm. We got have Ian. Who's oh, there? Tammy. Oh, Hi, Tammy. Good. It's really good. Sarah Tala, a local favorite. Her voice was just used. Oh, shout out to Sarah Tala. Mm. Sarah Tala, your mm. voice was just used. I forget which animal mm. rights group it was, but they put the video together. You know Here's her voice. Here we go. I feel like Lori Allen. She's a big, mm -hmm. big and also she's mm -hmm. a big voiceover person. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people in show business um, who are on our team. Just at the PCRM event. We had Tig Notaro and her wife, mm. incredible activists. They do One Mississippi, which is an incredible show. We had Maggie Q there um, and uh, various other people. I mean, it was, it was really fun. Uh, and uh, so there are a lot of people. I mean, anytime you go to a PETA event, my God, you have the biggest stars in the world, Paul McCartney. Yeah. Paul if McCartney. If you want to meet stars, go to any one of these events that mm -hmm. Jen's talking about. Mm. These animal rights organizations, or if you're a guy <laughs> and, you're, <laughs> and you're straight. Tip of the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, or gay. What, you know? Or gay. We're a lot of hot gay, gay guys. guys. <laughs> 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 or people. a lesbian. Yeah. Or a lesbian. A lot of hot Oh, people. I'm taken. I'm saying. Oh. There's a lot of options. That's all I'm saying. This and man is so fun. Okay. Mm. This is so good. Let's save that one for the photograph. We'll save that all one right. for the photographs. All right. I think, and, Tage, you should come in and take it. Really? Taste. Why not? All right. Why not? Take a taste. Okay. okay. New uh, friend, Mark Tom. All right. Oh, all right. The views have gotten better. I was going to say. I really oh, like when you do incredible. your voice voice thing, though. Can we do that a little bit more? The What, what? voice? Oh, you know, the, the one that's your Ladies voice. Ladies and gentlemen. And this one. Here we go. <laughs> Jim Page, all right. Here we go. Paige is about to try. That's right. The one one it's sandwich the... will go home. The other will stay <laughs> for the finals. It's the Unchopped. You can go on that show. We, can, these, we should do see. a vegan chop show. One of these okay. dishes will be voted off. <laughs> <laughs> The moment of truth. Text the word tofu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
What do you think, Paige? You like it? Stop mm -hmm. laughing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, mm -hmm. you got Jane on Jane Deer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you one. All right. Okay, there it's we the go. It's the relish. The relish does actually change it. The relish, the relish, does the it. The relish really makes does. it so amazing. Yeah. And again, with the mayo. Mayo, yeah. just mayo. You can mayo. put as much as you, you know, want. You know, I interviewed Josh Tetrick when it first came out. So did I. Oh, wow. Go How ahead. fantastic. Go ahead, yeah. And he was so amazing. And then the American Egg Board tried to put him out of business, and they even were caught discussing taking out a hit on him. What? That's how, yes. I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, no. it's, and, and in fact, their whole effort gave him 21, uh, and then they, they were sued by Unilever, um, saying that they shouldn't be able to call it mayo. That's right. And it gave him $20 million worth of free advertising. Well, let's say we're just going to put it all over the air. Mayo, 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 yeah, mayo. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all good. Well, it's and now what they've numbers. done is they, some of these big companies that make mayonnaise, they're making eggless mayonnaise, yes. right? They're making vegan mayonnaise. They are. All right, we're going to wrap it up. This has been incredible. incredible. We know Mark has a big day ahead of him. Big big Where are you going again? I've got the Too Young much. Turks at uh, Old School tonight, and Woo. we've got a bunch of stuff. But this has been great. A pleasure. All of you who tuned in, all of you are curious, all of you are supportive. Thank you, and Jane, thank you. I love you, Mark. Next time. Woo!